If you've ever wanted to accelerate at the speed of light, mine cryptocurrency, or save the environment, well, now you can do all three at once. Damoc Avenir recently unveiled the Spiritus, a three-wheeled electric supercar that can do it all for less than $20,000. Is the Spiritus lineup just a hopped up competitor to the Polaris Slingshot or will it revolutionize the electric hypercar industry and upturn brands like Tesla? Well, let's find out. If you haven't heard of Damoc before, don't worry, neither did I. Apparently, they're a Toronto-based light electric vehicle manufacturer, specializing in mobility scooters and eco-friendly electric bicycles. Since 2002, they sold over a hundred thousand vehicles, ranging from an enclosed ATV to a recumbent bike with an electric motor. But the Spiritus is their first reach into the supercar industry. History's greatest innovations starts as impossibly big ideas. And with every year, we challenge what was possible, with our goal to bring cleaner, greener vehicles to our world. Now we're taking on our greatest challenge yet, our Avenir line. Fully developed in Canada, it's the first enclosed series with record-breaking battery life, solar trickle charging, and autopilot, along with all the DMAC features that have set the standard for micromobility. The future is electric. The first thing that really caught my eye on the Spiritus is its exterior. While the front looks like, well, any other stereotypical exotic car concept, the rear design is far more exciting. DMAC decided to give their supercar only three wheels to help it fit in with the rest of their mobility lineup, as well as to keep material costs and curb weight low. And maybe to avoid some safety regulations too. But the open-ended back of the car allows for a lot of creativity with the styling in ways that aren't usually seen on four-wheel supercars. The rear-mounted electric motor and suspension are exposed, with a single swing arm extending to hold the wheel in place. Rather than a pair of exhaust tips, the all-electric Spiritus is highlighted by circular taillights, hidden underneath a large chrome extension piece that serves to improve the aerodynamics. In place of the rear windows, the trike instead has a solar panel array to help provide a little power back to the car on sunny drives. Plus, there's a pair of reverse-hinged butterfly doors to really seal the exotic deal. And the design is only just the beginning. Damoc has packed a ton of wild new features around this car that are just crazy to think about. For example, this will be the world's first electric car with cryptocurrency mining capabilities. Apparently, a mining nebula system was installed on the car and successfully used the Spiritus built-in hardware to churn $11 of crypto profit per day. Hi, I'm Aldo Bayocchi, president of Damoc. I'm proud to announce the Damoc Nebula System, the world's first cryptocurrency suite for electric vehicles. It is ready for testing. We've taken this gas vehicle, converted it to an electric vehicle, and added a nebula miner onto it. We're gonna test the car in the real world against the elements. Most cars are driven one hour a day, while the other 23 hours, the car is sitting and depreciating and losing your money. With the nebula system, we're gonna show you that it can make you money while it's parked. Let me show you how it works. Good morning, Aldo. $10.55 have been deposited into your account. Have a nice day. And then, just if you want to mine after you park, all you do is press play. And the system will start up a few seconds, and we shall see the uh, mining starting. So today we already mined $10.55, and soon we'll see the ash rate moving along, and the profits will start rising. Nebula technology is going to be featured on our upcoming Damac Spiritus car. Their website gives more detailed stats on the hash rate and power usage, as well as a bunch of other things that I frankly don't understand. But a car that's not only affordable and fast, but can also make money while parked, sounds pretty wild to me. The trike's performance estimates are even more ludicrous than the exterior and the crypto mining capabilities. There will be two different trims offered, each bringing its own level of insanity. The entry-level Spiritus Deluxe is capped at an 85 mile per hour top speed and can do 0 to 60 in a meager 6.9 seconds. Nice. This is the $20,000 model, so it's a lot more tame, with a 36 kilowatt hour drivetrain and 180 mile range. It's still fairly quick, it looks cool, and it has a lot of the same crypto mining solar panel functionality of the upper model but it's not going to be beating any Tesla Roadsters from the light. 
The Spiritus Ultimate has a lot more going for it. A lower curb weight and an 80 kilowatt hour system means it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in a brain bending 1.8 seconds, faster than the upcoming Tesla Roadster. The 130 mile per hour top speed and 300 miles of all electric emission free range are pretty nice benefits as well. But be warned, the Ultimate Edition is also on another level of pricing, starting at 149,000 USD. It's a pretty clever lineup if you ask me. The Spiritus Ultimate is a halo model that gets people's attention, while the Spiritus Deluxe is the more practical and affordable seller that most customers will probably end up getting. Either way, the capabilities of this car seem pretty unbelievable. The Ultimate Edition is going to come standard with all-wheel drive, but all wheels for this vehicle is still only three. That leaves just 305 millimeters of traction in the back to handle 200-ish horsepower and an ungodly amount of instant electric torque. I guess the Spiritus is much closer to a motorcycle in that aspect, but I'm still very curious to see how it will perform in a real-world environment. There are a ton of innovative new technologies and insanely bold claims made about the Spiritus that honestly just sound too good to be realistic. But who knows, maybe Daymok can prove me wrong and build something more lightning fast than we've ever seen before. Currently, the Spiritus is only a prototype. Just a few have been built for testing purposes and deliveries aren't expected to begin until September 2023. Daymok has been taking pre-order deposits since March 2021, and it's reported over a billion dollars in commitments have been secured. That should be plenty to help the Canadian brand finish development of their Tesla slang crypto mining super trike. What do you think of the Daymok electric super trike? Will it perform as insanely well as they claim and would you buy one? Let me know in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.